Okay, one more thing, Kyle, as we, um, as we do something that I mentioned in a previous podcast, and now I'm just going to embrace it, okay? <laughs> I'm going to embrace it. I love I've this. Got, are you ready for this? Let's do it. So I've got, a, you know, a prop. You remember I had that prop um, of the, the glass half empty, half full kind of yeah, thing? Yeah, two glasses of water. This, this it. is a little different here, so let me make sure I've got this right. <laughs> so I'm just going to yeah. Let's do it. Here we go. Can you, um, can you see? <laughs> this I call my, my conspiracy tinfoil hat. Um, I do not believe in a lot of things. Uh, I'm a skeptic. That sounded <laughs> very, really bad. It, yes. <laughs> um, I, what, what I mean by that is I don't buy into conspiracy theories generally. I don't think they're little green men at, at Roswell, New Mexico, that they're not hiding anymore. In they moved those to Ohio. Okay, so. well, that's that's fine. Thank you. <laughs> that was weird. Now I got now I got my friends who I think believe in that. Okay, um, but I mentioned that there's a possibility of a fan conspiracy theory that during the non-conference schedule for the Shockers, that Greg Marshall was holding back a bit. That he was. You did mention this. That we had some close games that should not have been close. Um, you know, when, when South Dakota State gave us a scare and, and a, a few others, you know, we're losing to Savannah State um, <laughs> many minutes into the game, and we're like, what's going on? I, the fan theory that, you know what, this is, um, this is the Shockers holding something back, thinking that when the time comes for the conference schedule, they, the Shockers can then try some different things and new things, throw out some new things that teams were not ready for, knowing that the conference would, well, <laughs> well, people, well, you doubters, you non-believers. How could you not believe this man? Yes, I mean, look at him. listen, I don't think the earth is flat. <laughs> I don't think aliens come and visit us in little ships. I think if they were to come, they would come in big ships. Um, and, and, and anyway, that get weird. <laughs> But I do think after you, what happened in the UConn game? Three guard lineup, super small lineup. Yes, you had you had Shaq and you had Rashard Kelly on the post. Yeah. But you've got Austin Reeves, Connor Frankamp, and Landry Shamit all out there at the same time. Had we seen that before? I had not. Recalled we had seeing not that. seen that before because Greg Marshall was holding back <laughs> in a good way, not not criticizing at all. Um, I think it was smart, and I think that's what was happening. So. What we had was UConn standing there thinking, what in the world is happening? We, they they didn't know, know what to do with they it. They didn't know what to do. You don't prepare for the Shockers thinking, oh, you know what? Down the stretch in the second half, they're going to have Marcus McDuffie on the bench. They're going to they're gonna have Zach Brown on the bench. Nurger, we're not even going to see him. <laughs> um, uh, Samaje, psh, no, he's that? not going to be there. That's what happened. Yeah, That's crazy. what happened. Real crazy. Um, so, and effective. Here's my question then. Let's open this conspiracy box a little more. Big can of worms now. What else is there? What else does Greg Marshall have in those deep, deep pockets of his, so to speak? <laughs> um, I'm not talking about money, but what, what does he have that he can pull out of his bag of tricks that he's been saving? What are we going to see? Um, Shaq at the point? Shaq perhaps? at the Stop that. <laughs> that. You know I don't like that. <laughs> shooting, shooting six three pointers in the yeah, game. Yeah, oh my goodness. Um, here's the, yeah, I'm against that, but here's the problem is Shaq can hit those. Yeah. <laughs> he can go four for six from the top of the key sometimes. I don't know. But for me and for Shockers fans, I think it's exciting to see something like that happen, especially against UConn. It, this was not East Carolina do whatever no. you want. This was a, a at UConn, big game. At UConn, national TV. And Greg's like, he went yeah, for it. Yeah, look at this. Try this. Let's throw something else out there. Um. What is he going to try next? What are the shockers? And this is the beauty of depth. This is the beauty yes, of, of having sure. so much talent. Um, what are we going to see? Do you have any thoughts? Do you have any ideas? Come on, join the conspiracy <laughs> club here, Kyle. I, I forgot my tin foil hat. I home. have so <laughs> much aluminum foil. Um, yeah. I don't know. Maybe a four-guard lineup at some point. And, and then you have one guy uh, in, in the paint. You, have, you have put Shaq down there in the paint and, and then swing it around. I could yeah, see that. Uh, I could. Uh, we've not seen meat guard yet, except for when he no. ran into Greg Marshall off the bench and <laughs> Greg gave him the stank eye. Um, or maybe one guard and four forwards or big men. Yeah. Um, things up. Go big. You, can go, go, big, you yeah. can go super big on size. I don't know. I don't know. But 
And that's the beauty of... of he's uh, always thinking. He's always scheming. Yeah. He's Greg Marshall, um, you never know what, what he's going to do. And that makes you have to prepare for everything. I mean, it, it's a little bit... It's not to your advantage that you're not good against a zone defense. But the one silver lining there is teams are potentially now having to practice man-to-man -man and then practice like two or three different zones to try to So maybe think they of purposely <laughs> play poorly against the zone in the non-conference. Thank you for embracing the Twilight Zone. Am I doing this right? That's, that's correct. Right. So be cool. really bad at something. Yes, uh, uh, be really bad at free throws so teams foul you. And then, and then hit them. Well, they were feet. bad with free throws against UConn. Bing, 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 bing. There so, we go. We've got, we got for a lot idea. of fouls coming yeah. up. Yeah, they were bad at that. Um, not to yeah. nitpick, they won the game. It was fine. But anyway, that's my <laughs> conspiracy theory uh, for the week come true. Do you have a conspiracy theory that you'd like to share for the Shockers? Because we are believers. I am a believer. <laughs> uh, I don't know about this guy, but I'm a believer. Um, and don't get me wrong, I, I'm not crazy. The earth is, is round, it's not flat. Um, and Kyrie. There, there, yeah, there are, there are plenty of theories out there that I do not embrace, but um, I think there's some strategy going on in the Shocker locker room, and I fully support it. I yeah, think it's a good whatever thing. Whatever wins. Thanks for joining us on Shockerland.